Hey guys, JJ here, and as many of you may know, we recently recorded an upcoming episode of the Row Podcast with the voice and mocap actor for the new Chris Redfield in Resident Evil 7, David Vaughn. During our interview, we learned some very interesting details about the upcoming Not A Hero DLC that I thought would be interesting to discuss today. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, I'm not going to get into everything we talked about with David. You can listen to the full discussion when it's released on October 30th, but I am going to discuss some of the details I found interesting. These details will be by no means spoilers, so you don't have to worry about ruining your experience with the upcoming Not A Hero DLC. If I feel that in any way it might be a minor spoiler, I'll let you know ahead of time. The first thing we learned is Chris isn't the emotional type of guy. Early on in development, Capcom wanted to make Chris Redfield seem more emotional and worried during situations. David explains that it seemed like they wanted to make the character act soft. Knowing that it seemed out of character for Chris, David and his voice director pushed back against this interpretation. They said, we're not doing worry, he's a badass, we're kicking down doors and busting asses. Chris is the guy that's saving the day. This was something I found very interesting to hear considering not many people would have pushed back. They would have just went along with it, but David and his director cared enough about the character that they went against Capcom's early expectations of what they wanted Chris to be to keep the character from completely becoming something he's not. The next thing we learned is Chris needs to watch his language. This ties back into Capcom's original emotional take on Chris Redfield. David explains they originally had some longer speeches by the character, but some of those lines felt out of place for Chris. Many of the more drawn out lines were swapped out in favor of simpler dialogue that fit the situation and character better. David has also mentioned that Chris dropped some F-bombs from time to time. During recording, he explained that there was a few times he had to say the line, fuck you and shit. These are words we don't hear a lot of out of Chris's mouth, but given what he's been through, it only makes sense, I guess. Also, in Resident Evil 6, we learned Chris can be pretty offensive given the situation. You're here to pour drinks and look pretty. So how about you shut your mouth? I do worry though that maybe Capcom was trying to make the character more emotional to give the character depth and make him seem more realistic, but I also see where David was coming from and how it felt out of place for the character. The next thing we learned was that the ending of Not A Hero was changed. One of the questions we asked David was if he was brought back to the studio when Capcom had announced that they were going to be pushing back the release of Not A Hero to December of 2017. He explained he was brought back in but not for a whole lot. The only difference was that they changed the ending. Now, we don't know exactly what the ending was originally supposed to be, but early reports say that Resident Evil 7's other upcoming DLC, End of Zoe, was originally supposed to be the premise of Resident Evil 8. Capcom didn't feel like End of Zoe was a complete experience enough to be a full game, so they made it a DLC. It makes me wonder if Capcom changed the ending of Not a Hero to better align with the new premise they have for Resident Evil 8. I guess we'll just have to wait to find out. The last thing on the list could be considered somewhat of a minor spoiler, so if you want to go into not a hero completely blind i'm warning you now minor spoiler ahead all right i'll give you five seconds five four three two one all right chris is a badass david explains that he was hoping for more fight sequences in not a hero but because of the fact that chris is such a badass there wasn't a whole lot of fighting that took place he says chris just kind of walks in and kicks ass no one can really fuck with him. Nothing really puts up a struggle. He goes on to explain there is one fight sequence that takes place in the DLC that I'm assuming is with Lucas Baker from what we've seen in the trailer. He says it's not your typical long drawn out fight sequence. Not a whole lot of hand to hand combat. This makes me wonder if there will be a lot more gameplay elements to this DLC as opposed to cutscenes. We see from the most recent trailer Lucas attacking Chris and stabbing him. Chris pulls his gun and that may put the player right into the gameplay with the boss fight. David also explained that he really only worked with the actor for Lucas Baker and other soldiers, so we can expect this DLC will focus solely on these characters and we probably won't see an appearance from anyone else. David Vaughn was a great guest and we are very thankful he took the time to chat with us. Again, the podcast will be out on October 30th, so make sure to subscribe and enable notifications to be notified when that goes live. 
We also have a podcast with DC Douglas, who voiced the iconic Resident Evil villain Albert Wesker, set to release this Halloween on October 31st. I want to know what you guys think about what David had to say. Are you happy they tried to stay true to the character and keep him a badass? Or would you have liked to see a more emotional side to the character? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. And for more Resident Evil content for fans by fans, make sure to subscribe. The Residence of Evil is a Patreon supported channel, so if you would like to see your name here in the credits or unlock some other really cool perks, head over to patreon.com slash roadnetwork. Thanks as always for watching guys, and I hope to see you back at the Residence of Evil.